All right, guys, today we're in a uh, 2006 Audi A6. We just installed the Dengen GW um, 5.2 M01. It's a single fiber optic port. Um, I know Dengen's website says that you need the dual for an Audi, but you don't. You need the single. Um, the dual will work, but it's just more money, so there's no reason to get it. Um, the uh, We just installed it. I'm going to show you how it works. Um, this demo is also the same thing for the GW53 M01 or M02. Uh, the 53s aren't in fiber optic. Uh, they both have one amp charging through the USB port. I mean, through the iPod port. They also support iPhone 5 through the USB. Um, all right. So pretty much the way I'm going to show you the way it works. Uh, right now we're on Bluetooth. So if you go, I have my iPhone 4 connected right now. All right. So as you can see right here. All right. Now I'm going to hit track up. And you see it'll go to the next song. All right. Now you can also do that with the um, with an Android, and it'll show music. Uh, my Samsung S3 does it. My Samsung S3 though on Pandora doesn't show text. On this one, it does. It's actually great. If you have an iPhone, um, you can hook up your Pandora wirelessly. And like, if, if I had an iPhone, I wouldn't even connect because all I listen to in the car is Pandora. So now I'm gonna go to Pandora. My 4G here is amazing on my S3, but my Corsus doesn't work too well. All right, so there we go. All right. All right. And you can go track up from the radio. Oh, that's a great song. It's going to think I don't like it. All right. And you can also do it from here. Oops, I paused it. All right. Steering wheel controls also work. Right, as you can see, the text is matching up. Pretty cool. That's just a long intro. All right. Now, also what you can do on this unit, it has an aux input. So you go into the menu. And then you're going to go into GW aux. That's the aux input. So um, what that'll do is that that will give you a um, the headphone jack. There's a little box. We mount this box. I just have it here for the demo video. All right. So... Um, this is the bypass switch. This switch, this light tells you what's going on. Solid means you're good. Uh, this is a bypass switch. If you have a dealership, that's a pain. You can switch it to the left and it disappears. Aux input, uh, that's your aux input. You can hook up anything using a 3.5 cable. Uh, the reset button, and this is a USB. This USB can play music off a memory stick, and you can also do um, an iPhone 5 through it, okay? So what I'm going to do now is that I'm not going to use the memory stick. Um, I'm actually going to pull out a glove box. The iPod cable. All right, show you that. All right, so now when you plug that in, first, oh, we're on Pandora. Try to have your when you plug in your iPhone, try to have it on iPod first, because it the unit if you plug it in while you're on Pandora, it gets all messed up. It's like that with everything, meaning a lot of units are like that. All right, so I'm gonna do iPhone, start playing him song, and then plug it in. It'll probably fix itself, but I'm letting you know because a lot of people, you know, I got a lot of perfectionists out there. All right, so this is what's playing right now. This is my playlist, Final Outlaw. So if you go into here, you go back into the, whoops, let's go back into the menu. All right, now you're going to go into your music, playlist, artist, albums, songs, genres, composed, audiobooks, and podcasts. All right, so if we go into playlist, that's all the playlists right there. All right. So we're going to select uh, Final Outlaw. And then we're going to select Freaky Flow, and it plays. After a few minutes, it'll jump from CD6 to um, CD1, and then you can do track up and track down. Um, but you can keep it there. And what else we got? Artists, you can search by artists. When you go into artists, you can do ABC search. All right, so I don't have that many artists, so it groups into um, banks of three. And then you can also go through the whole thing. All right, so... You know what, let me go into songs. If you go into songs, all right, you go like that, and it'll be O, all right, O, and then O, M, J, all right? So that is, that's how easy you can search a song. All right, now we're gonna go over here, and then um, you can also search by playlist, artist, album, song, genre, composer, and audiobooks and podcasts. Now, while you're doing this, the controls on the iPod are locked. So if you go back into your source, you have iPod GW, you also have iPod UI. 
iPod UI when you do that unlocks the iPod okay you also get track up still from the radio okay um, I also get previous track all right and you also get control from here you can also this is this if you want to plug in connected this is where you do your Pandora all right. I have one of those uh, I have the software right now where it doesn't connect to your Wi-Fi can't wait for them to fix this all right see oh I should have liked that before I skipped it anyway that's that um, what else do we got in this unit oh uh, let's do US all right guys my uh, my memory card ran out of room I'm not sure where I left off so I'm gonna leave off at the uh, USB all right so when you plug in the USB it should automatically recognize it okay All right, so when you go to USB, uh, those are all the uh, songs that I have in there. All right, that's what's currently playing. But if you go into the menu, uh, yeah, the first section is going to be your source. Then you have files, artist, albums, songs, bookmarks, play all, and settings. So if you go into your files, it's just your folders. So see how that has a little arrow? That means that's a folder. So I have two folders, and then I have songs in there, okay? So if you go there, uh, you're going to go into artist. You can do the same thing. That's one of those songs that we all know. Um, albums, you know, same thing. And then uh, songs and bookmarks. I don't know how to use bookmarks, uh, but if you, if you use a USB, you probably know how to use them. Um, that's pretty much it. Oh, you know what else I'm going to show you now? I'm going to show you uh, iPhone 5 through USB. So I don't have an iPhone 5, but I do have a um, fifth generation touch that I bought just since the iPhone came out with that new connector. All right, so what we're gonna do now is we're gonna use the connector it came with. Let me figure out which one's which because I think I got glue on mine, I'm not sure, but if I connect it the wrong way, it doesn't work right. All right, so we're doing that. Okay, and then the other side just goes right into here. And then you heard a charge. Okay, so we'll, same thing. You know, same thing as the other one, iPod UI. You know, and then you go into CD list. Whoops. I'm going to go into the menu. Select uh, iPod GW. And it'll work the same like we were just talking about. You can do all the music menu. Um, oh, the only thing I didn't talk about is play all. Play all plays all the songs in your iPod. And then album plays plays all the songs in the current album you are listening to. Um, and the music does the same thing as before. Anyway, um, yeah, my name is Christian. Uh, uh, this is nfitcarstereo.com. Um, you know, it works fine. There's a lot of things going on out there with rumors and people saying it works horrible. And um, I do have some customers having issues with their uh, iPhone 5s, but um, Denjin told me a little trick with it. Um, and, and to be honest with you, if you have a conversion cable, it works perfect. The only thing that has uh, issues here and there once in a while um, is the... Uh, through the USB and it's not everyone so I think it may have it may have something to do with Apple software um, let me see today today is April uh, 27th 2013 um, so that's where we're at now I think my Apple's up to 6.103 or something and Denshin's on software 47 so um, the unit's definitely good um, and I'm pretty sure the old Denshin unit is no longer going to be supported so um, like I said, the USB port, Denshin's a huge company. They always fix everything. I've never, they've always come through with me. So you guys that are scared, uh, you know, about whether or not to get this unit, you know, if you want to call me up, give me a chat. By the time you, they may fix the software perfect next week. So, um, you know, by the time you watch this video, this may not even be a problem. But anyway, um, we provide lifetime tech support. If you buy from us, we also ship worldwide. Um, if you're a shop, you can also buy from us too. Um, we talk direct to Denshin. I have cell phones. I have emails. I have everything. Um, so anything I need, they answer. Um, so you know, if you're a shop, you buy from us. You get you get you get the best tech support you can get. Um, we've also been selling it for probably eight years at this point. We were importing them direct from Hungary back in the, from Europe back in the day. Um, but that's pretty much it. Videos about to buy nfitcarstereo.com. We sell and install. We also ship worldwide. If you have any questions, feel free to give us a call. My name is Christian. Thanks for watching.